Hi darlings, how are you? This is gonna be for my cancers and this is gonna be a message for whenever it reaches you. I will be using my guardian angel messages tarot. To clarify, I'll be using my angel wisdoms tarot. So cancer, have you been taking care of yourself? Doing a little self-love? Because we don't concentrate on the doom and gloom here, okay? We're going to pick each other up. And we're going to really do that. We're going to raise our vibrations. We are going to do that. We're going to help each other. We are going to be the change that we want to see happen in this world. We will do things with good intentions. We will love ourselves. We will forgive ourselves for whatever it was, and we will forgive whatever traumas that we have been through. We will go and we will face them. And we will start feeling better. It's a little rough, but it's worth the ride. So Cancer, this is for you. The Awakening card, not too long ago, things were at a pause. Nothing was moving, nothing was coming or going. It was just standing still. It was just standing still. We got the Magician, but you had magic on your side. I don't know why my nose itches me like this when I read my cards. My nose doesn't itch me other than either this one or now this one is itching. Like right here. No reason for it, but always this and right here too. But anyway, so we got the magician. You got some great manifesting powers right now. However, you need to be very cautious. So you need to be cautious. There's something in your environment that can make you lose your peace of mind. Now, mind you, this is past energy, okay? We got the seven of air. And we got the knight of fire. Very confident, adventurous, but don't be too impulsive now. We got the Ten of Fire. You feel like you got a lot of things going on. You feel kind of heavy. You may have a lot on your plate you're dealing with. You can ask for help, you know. You're not alone. Ask for help. Or maybe stop for a minute and look at the situation in a different way and you might get a new perspective on how to do it. Just try you got the nine of fire. You're very resilient no matter what. And you're always prepared. You're going to get over that. Whatever it is, you will get over it. We got the nine of earth here. You're seeing the, um, the fruits of your labor. Whatever you've been working on, you're now seeing the fruits of your labor. The ten of water, happiness in your family, in your community, in your life. The ten of air. Now, the ten of air... It's like an ending. Now, it can also be talking about recovery from something. Um, but the Ten of Air to me is endings. They're endings that... Even if, even though... Ooh, excuse me. Even though... You're going to be sad at whatever the ending is. You're going to feel a lot of relief. So there's something ending for you. That you will feel relieved from. So the two cards that fell out, one was the Eight of Fire, the next one was the King of Water, and I would say that's you, um, Cancer. <laughs> that's you, Cancer. I say that you can start looking, you can start, things are expanding for you. Not too long ago, things, were, things have been expanding for you. You can start making some long-term plans, okay? 
and you probably did. Now, the king of water, like I say, is you, and you might be feeling emotionally balanced here. And you got the ace of air, whatever communication you are awaiting, it will come. It's going to be some new communication from something or someone about something or some or from someone. We got the magician here. On top of the magician, your manifestation powers. We got the five of water. You're thinking and you're focusing on the negative and you got to stop doing that. Because you see, you could be manifesting those negative things, okay? We can manifest both positive and negative things into our lives. By our thought. We got to change that. We got the queen of air. Now the queen of air... Could be that you're clearing away things that no longer serve you, that you are going to go and you're going to, um, you start to move the rubbish out your life. You know, all that stuff, you're moving it out your life. You don't, it, it doesn't serve no purpose. And once you move that crap out your life, you're going to start feeling happy. There's going to be news worth celebrating coming to you. Now, the queen of air could also be an energy. It could be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius who is going to bring some news forth. To you that will make you happy and make you want to celebrate again this is past energies you gotta just stop focusing on the negative okay and that's me being firm <laughs> we got the five of water we got the queen of air and we got the five we got the three of water five the three of water on top of the seven of air Betrayal. Pil oh. Ay. The loss of your peace of mind. Um, hold on. Okay. Oh, that was bothersome just now. I got caught in my earring. The four earth. You're managing your resources wisely. Or you could be feeling balanced financially. Well, we got the three of swords here. The three of air. And there's some kind of sadness around you. And there's an abundance of sadness around you. Because we got the Empress right after that. So whoever betrayed you. Whoever betrayed you. Brought you a lot of sadness. And maybe... The four of earth. How would I read the four of earth here? The card says seeing things as black and white. So maybe that's how you're seeing it. It's either this way or that way. And maybe that's why you're feeling an abundance of sadness. Or you were. Because it's past. Don't stay there too long. Okay? Love yourself more. If you stay in that sadness, that's not love. You know, that's low vibrational. And I do know, don't get me wrong. Please don't get me wrong, babies. I know when the heart is broken. I know that empty spot. I know that empty place. I know it. I'm so familiar with it. It feels like a big old hole here. Like a big hole of emptiness. And there's nothing that you can do to fill it. Be gentle with yourself, okay? Be gentle with yourself. Okay, darlings? It will pass. It will get better. Now, the four earth, maybe this is what it is. The four earth could be that you're holding on to a situation in an unhealthy way. And because of that, you're having an abundance of sadness around you. And sometimes, you know, when we want to move on or when we feel this sad, there are times that we want to move on, but we're scared to. You know, we're afraid to move forward. We're afraid to leave that situation because it's something that we're so used to. Darlings, you can accomplish anything you set your mind out to. Don't you give up on yourself, you hear me? 
You got the four earth and release that energy that you're holding on to that's not healthy for you. If this resonates, take it. Leave what doesn't resonate. And remember, I always give you these messages with my heart, darling, from my heart to your heart. Because what I'm here to tell you is that you're not alone. You hear me? You're not alone, darlings. You're not alone. Don't ever feel like you're alone. You send me an email. I will answer. It might not be right away, but I will answer. You can ask anyone. I have written so many people. Okay? You got the four earth, you got the three of air, and you got the empress. You're not alone. You also have creator. You got your angels. You got your benevolent ancestors. You know what I mean? Call on them. They will help you. They will help ease that load. Be grateful. There is something in your life that you can be grateful for, darlings. Oh, yes, there is. Always. I was going through something for the last couple of days. Couldn't put my finger on it, really. But I had this, like, really... Well, kind of, sort of, could have put my finger on it. But I had this, like, heaviness, you know? It was a heaviness that made me want to cry. It made me angry. I just felt like there was so much inside of me that just needed to get out. And I couldn't get it out. It was like I forgot that I could do this. <laughs> and I know I'm getting emotional and I have no idea why. But what I'm here to tell you is, darlings, we can overcome the feelings. Because I sure did. Out of the blue today, my friend Christine sent me a message. And then instead of texting, she calls me. I don't know. She, we have so many things in common. I mean, our lives like mirror each other in so many ways. She lifted me up out of where I was. I'm not alone. She said, Michelle, remember who you are. Come on now. You can do this. Every day when you open your eyes, be thankful that you can see. Be thankful. Now, these aren't her exact words. That we can walk and talk and feel the wind and feel the sun. <laughs> oh, I don't know what the heck's wrong here. For a moment, I forgot who I was. The whole house could have felt my anger. And I had no idea how to take care of it. And all I had to do was remember what I would do before. I would take a bath. A salt bath. Celtic salt bath. With Florida water, bay leaves, cinnamon. All these beautiful things. And I put my intentions in there. And I would wash myself from head to foot, soak myself in there. I would put my crystal quartz, my clear quartz in there, my amethyst, you know, whichever crystal was good for water, you know, which is my clear quartz and my amethyst. And I don't mean to waste your time by telling you my story, but I feel somebody is going to get something from this. But I didn't want to take a bath because if I took a bath, it would have made me want to go lay down because that's what it usually does. It makes me lay down and then it gives me messages and then, you know, it's, I learn things. So what I did instead, I got a container and I filled it with spring water, with Celtic salt, with Florida water. I even put camphor in there. 
and I mixed it up and I went into the shower and I took an hour long shower. I washed my hair with intention to remove this feeling from me. And when I was finished, I turned off the shower and I poured this cold water over me because I shower till the water is cold anyway. And I poured this cold water starting with my head and I just allowed it to just go slowly all over my body. And in my mind, I saw all this darkness leaving, being washed away from me. And I started feeling lighter and brighter. You see, by the time I was finished with my shower, because I turned on the water to just give myself a, one more rinse, and I patted myself dry, I felt on top of the world. <laughs> so... That was my experience the last couple of days and what happened today. Oh, but that needed to come out for some reason. So darlings, please know that I am as human as you are. And I gave you my word that I will share my life with you and that I will do. And if ever you find yourself in a situation, like I said, you can always send me a message. So we got the night of fire here. Yes, we're back. <laughs> we got the night of fire here. You're very confident and passionate, but just don't act impulsively, okay? We got the sun card. Hey, all this sadness here is gone. You hear? I just cried all that sadness out for you. We got rid of it. It's over. It's done. It's done. We got the sun happiness. We got the eight of earth. You're very focused on some kind of material thing here. Something that's going to bring in some money. You're studying the details and then you got the king of fire. The king of fire could be an Aries. It could be a, a Leo. Or it could be a Sagittarius. Now the king of fire could also be that you took leadership of something. So however that resonates with you. Okay, babies. Then you got the sun. So we got the sun, the eight of earth, and the king of fire. And we got the ten of fire. There might be some kind of heaviness where this fire energy is concerned. Maybe worry, overwork, maybe they're stressing you out. Try not to use words like stress, you know, to describe your, your what you're feeling, okay? They're so negative words. You know, another word... Is frustration. Frustration dulls all light. That word, you know, all those words, it dull all light. But I use it just because of, you know, what I'm doing here right now. You know, and then we're chatting. So, we got the ten of fire. You're overworked, you're stressed, you're out of balance. And it could be because of this king of fire. You're deep in, the, you're deep in your head. You're thinking, you're thinking, you're thinking. And you got to make a decision. Mm -mm. Oh, wow. You got to make a decision and that decision is coming very fast. It's a complex decision. It's not nothing that you can, that's why you're deep in thought here. Okay. It's not something that you can just say, oh, well, okay, let's do it. It's over. It's... You need to think about it. All right, babies. You got the four of water, the two of air, and you got the eight of fire. Then you have the nine of fire. Resilient, no matter how many times you got knocked down, you got back up. On top of the nine of fire, you got the moon. You're starting to see things clearly. You got the ace of earth, but then you got the five of earth. What's going on? Huh? So the moon, <clears throat> you need to listen to your intuition. Where this new financial opportunity is concerned. Okay, it's kind of giving you the mindset of lack. Something you feel that's, that's, that's short there. So pay attention. You got that decision to make. Either where that fire energy is concerned or where this financial opportunity is concerned. Pay attention, okay, babies? Only you can make that decision. The good thing is, you see the five of pentacles or the five of earth? It doesn't stay long. It's temporary. It's the mindset of lack. So if you change this, you could change that. Get me? So you got the moon, you got the ace of earth, and you got the five of earth. Use your intuition. There is a new financial opportunity there. Get out of that mindset of lack. Now we got the nine of earth. You coming into some money. You starting to see some money. 
your hard work is paying off. You got the Queen of Earth. This could be a, um, a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. And you got the Knight of Earth and the Two of Earth. Now, the Queen, I said a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. Now, the Queen of Earth could be that you, you know how to handle the money, too. You got good business sense where money is concerned. You're very generous, but practical at the same time. The Knight of Earth. Plan carefully before taking action. Use your intuition, okay, babies? Pay attention. Pay attention. Trust yourself. Learn about meditation. Learn about going within. Okay? Listen to yourself. Okay, darlings? We can do this together. There's nothing that we can't handle. You hear? Trust me on that one. And when I say we, I'm talking about all of us. For I am you and you are me. We are one. We may look different, but we are one. We got the Queen of Earth, we got the Knight of Earth, things you have a routine. Just don't rush and make a decision, okay? Plan carefully, and you got the two of Earth. Now, you might be having a lot, but not might. You probably have a lot of things on your plate here. I mean, you had the ten of um, fire there. But you got a lot of things here on your plate. The two, you're working too hard. You might have multiple jobs. But you need to find a balance and bring some fun into what you're doing. You know, even if you're going to a job or to a place that you don't like, and, you know, you're like, oh, gosh, I got to go here. Get out of that mindset. Really. Go. Go with a good... Don't worry about who's saying what, who says what, whatever is going on at the workplace, whatever is going on wherever. Okay? Don't worry about that. Worry and concentrate on you. They can't hurt you. Ignore them. Know that you're protected. Before you leave your home, you ask Creator to protect you, ground you. Stand on the earth. Close your eyes and know that everything will work out and your day will be wonderful and nothing can spoil it. So then we got the, two, the 10 of water, happy family. So whatever this off balance feeling is, you might be balancing a budget as well. Um... We got the queen of water. Now, this could be another water energy in your environment. Um, I would say this could be you as well. You're seeing your benefits. We got the nine of earth here. You, you coming into some money. I don't care who say what. And you need to stop worrying. Stop worrying about it, okay? Um, we got the queen of water. That's Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. That could be another energy in your environment, Cancer. So the nine of earth, you're enjoying the fruits of your labor. And then we got the ten of air. Now, the ten of air is about an ending. Now, I don't know if it has something to do with the three of air up here with the abundance of sadness in the past, okay? Maybe you finally decided I'm going to let it go. And you did the right thing. Whatever you decide will be the right thing. Remember, <clears throat> when endings come, it always making, it, it's always making room for better things to come into your life. And even though it may make you sad, you will feel relieved, okay? We got the Queen of Water, we got the Nine of Earth, and we got the Ten of Air. Endings that will bring relief. And there, there is going to be an ending here. Definitely. Definitely going to be an ending. But it's not. It's going to be sad. I don't think you're going to stay there too long. We got the Ten of Air here as well. You got Ten of Air here and the Ten of Air here. We got the Renewal card, the Six of Air, and the Page of Earth. Like I said, this ending is going to bring some sadness, but it's also going to bring you some relief. When that relief comes, you're going to go within you. You're going to do some self-evaluation. You're going to forgive yourself. You're going to forgive that person. Whatever the situation is, you're going to do some soul searching. 
and you're going to start feeling better. And you see, when you come to terms with so many things that are within you, you're going to feel revitalized and brand new, babies. Brand new. Let me tell you, a lot of us don't want to look in the past and look at our traumas. It's a hard thing to do. But let me tell you, like I said earlier, it's well worth the journey. I hope I said that here or in one of my other readings. But it's well worth the journey, okay, darlings? And you got the page of Earth here. Time for you to get to work. You're doing some manifesting here. Or you might be going into a new area of study. You got the renewal card. You got the six of air. Things are calming down in your environment. No matter that there was an ending. And some sadness. And you got the page of earth here. You have an excellent opportunity that's going to um, present itself to you. Um, you're going to have communication about this opportunity. You're going to have some communication. Now, the communication might cause you to get angry. It might cause a little conflict. Don't know exactly what it is going to be, of course. But it's going to be something that's going to be delivered to you. It's going to be kind of crude. But it's going to be something that you needed to hear. Okay, darlings? It will get you upset, but you don't have to walk in that energy. Okay, you can wash it away. <laughs> but whatever it is, darling, you need to turn within, meditate, trust yourself. You got the high priestess here. This is not the time for action. Develop your intuitive gifts and trust the wisdom you receive. It's not time for action. Okay. You got the page of air, the five of air, and the high priestess. Use your intuition. And once you do that, my loves, you will have happiness in your community. You will see so many things that you're going to be grateful for. I love you, darlings. You take care of yourselves. And we will chat soon.